Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel. I hope you all are doing great. And uh, in this video, I'll show you how to make your desktop look more minimal, clean, and hopefully more practical. All the links used in this video will be provided in video description down below. So make sure that you check the video description to get all the links. And uh, with all that being said, let's get straight to the tutorial. So the first thing that I usually change is the Windows taskbar. So I usually use the program called Taskbar XI for Windows 11. However, if you are still running on Windows 10, then you can use the previous release of this program, which is called Taskbar X. X. So if you are on Windows 10, use the taskbar X. And if you are on Windows 11, use taskbar XI. So to get the file, go ahead to the releases tab. And here you will see two exe files. And here click on both of them to get both of the files. And then navigate to your downloads folder. And here select both of the exe files that you just downloaded. And right click on them click here to cut the files and then I recommend that you create the folder in your local disk C directory. So here I'll click new, click the folder and here I will just call this folder tweaks. Then go ahead into this folder and then paste both of the exe files right here into this folder. And then I recommend that you launch the taskbar XI program. And then here you will have the prompt, click more info and click run anyway. And this should start the taskbar XI. And this is the basically the settings application for this program. So also double left click on this and click more info, run anyway. And this should start the configuration program for this taskbar XI. So one thing that I usually do or customize this program is to click here to ignore the max. Here I also use no tray and also hide the tray wind. So I'll click that click apply and this should hide the date and the system tray icons. However, don't get afraid that you don't have the date and the time on your taskbar anymore because we will use one rain meter skin to fix that. So I will click apply. And in my opinion, the taskbar looks a lot nicer than before. So I will close the configurator. Then I will go ahead to the web browser. And here I will just use one program, which is called the drop top four, or this is basically the skin that we will use to replace our time and the date on our desktop. So to get the file, once again, go ahead to the releases tab. And here you have the click here to download drop top, click on that. And this should start the download of the rain meter skin. However, if you don't have the rain meter installed, go ahead to the rainmeter.net and here click download the exe file of the rain meter. And right now I will just quickly install the rain meter on my system. So here we are in setup of the rain meter and here we have some default skins of the rain meter. Right click on each of them and click unload skin. And then navigate to your downloads folder. And here you have this drop top basic version rain meter skin. Click on that one to install. And here click install. And here you should see the install screen of the rain meter skin called drop top 4. Click continue. Select your preferred language. I will just use English right here. And then you have three options. So always show the drop top auto hide and desktop only. I prefer the desktop only option, so I will click on that. So here you will click your preferred media player. I usually use Spotify and then you can also enter weather location and uh, I use also use Celsius, so I will enable Celsius. And for example, I'll enter the London right here and then click continue. And here you can choose a home button. I will just use this Apple one or you can also use the Windows one. So maybe I'll just use Windows one. And then you can also choose a size for the drop down bar. And you can here select the small one and click continue on that. And uh, also you can choose here a color option. I will just click color match and then maybe later and finish setup. So this should start the drop top for rain meter skin. And I will just click here, skip tutorial. And here you have a lot of the options. So basically this is the start menu here. You can let's say select drop top settings. And here I'll just change the theme of the drop top. And I will here select the Bixer one and click apply this theme. 
and it should look a lot nicer. So for example, if you want to see your tray icons, you have here an option or three dots and here you can easily see your tray icons right here. However, if you also want to change the volume, you can do by clicking this on the top and then you can increase the volume of your system. So this is pretty much it for the time and the rain meter skin. Right now I'll go ahead to my web browser and here I'll just change the cursor. So I usually use this one, VS Cursor 12.0 and make sure that you are registered on DeviantArt to be able to download this file and then click ahead this arrow to get the file and then navigate to your downloads folder. And here right click on it, click extract all, click extract and then click here cursors and preview folder and the VS cursor 12.0 and here you have the install file, right click on it, click show more options and click install right here, click open and this should install the cursor by itself, however the cursor didn't actually change. So to change it you go ahead to your windows start menu and here type in cursor and then navigate to the settings called change the mouse pointer display or speed. And here go ahead to the pointer tab, scheme and select the cursor that we just installed. In this case, VS Cursor 12.0. Click apply, click yes and click OK. And the, as you can see, the cursor just changed. So if you want to, we can also change the wallpaper. And the one wallpaper that I really like is this one from wallpapercave.com. I think it looks quite minimal. So to save the file, right click on the image, save image as. And as you can see, the file is actually WebP image. So here I will select all files and uh, I'll add .png to that file to be able to set it as my desktop background. Click save and then navigate to your downloads folder. Right click on the image, set it as desktop background. And as you can see, the wallpaper just changed. I think it looks just beautiful. So to get rid of the desktop icons, one thing you can easily do is to right click on the desktop, go to the view and click show desktop icons and uncheck that. And it looks more beautiful that way. And uh, we can also use one uh, rain meter skin, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and it's from Jack's core. So this is basically the hub for a lot of the skins that he actually created. And click here, Jack's core V44902 RM skin file to get the file and then click on the Jack's core. Click install and here select your preferred language. I will just once again use the English one. Click continue, click continue once again and finish installation. And this should be the Jack's original skin. I will just resize the, the window and then go ahead to your widgets. And here I usually use two widgets, which first one is modular clocks. And then the second one is modular players. Click on the modular clocks. Click here on this green arrow to install the widget. And then go ahead to the general and here select the widget that you want. I prefer this one with the weather. And then go ahead to the bottom left to activate the skin. And as you can see, the skin showed up. However, I do prefer to make it black. So go out here, here to the appearance tab and here under the tint color, select the black color. So if you want to, you can also use whichever color you like. I just prefer the black one, click OK. And as you can see, the color of the widget just changed. And then you can close the configurator for the widget. Right click on the widget, click align right here and select center. And then if you want to, you can we can also use another widget from Jack Score, which is the widget for the music player. So go ahead to the widget and then once again, go to the mod modular players and click install on that one. Click continue and then sh you should be greeted with the welcome screen of the uh, widget and then go ahead to activate the skin on the bottom left. Go ahead to the appearance tab and here I preferred the last widget look. So click on that one as well. Here select the opacity if you want or the background color you can select right here or window stroke as well. So I will disable window stroke and uh, this is pretty much it for the widget. Then I will close the configurator for the widget, click on the widget, click align once again and click center. And then I will just put it down a little bit 
And then if you, for example, go to the web and play some music. So if I go to the YouTube and then I'll just click on one music, you should see that the image or the music art is shown as well. So maybe I click this one and then I'll go to the this and it should actually work. So if it doesn't go to the configure in core and then go to the general and here select the modern one and this should enable the actual music art on the widget. So it looks like that. So click on that and as you can see, it looks just fine right here. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I helped you to customize your windows. And if I did, make sure that you smash the like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button as well and join the Tech Enthusiast community. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys, and I see you all in the next video. Peace.